Hi everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at live path alignments. Hopefully you've already watched our video on live connection and got that up and running successfully. You're going to need that for this video. So heart alignment is an invaluable tool when it comes to aligning non-prismatic components, such as castings, forgings, or additively made parts. We can even use it to set up a second side on the machine, or if a part has to go back on for rework. Part alignment removes the stress and unpredictable timescales when it comes to aligning and setting up complex shapes. Now, the live connection will take care of all the data transfer for us. If you'd done part alignment before the old way, you'd have had to have transferred the NC code onto the machine, got the results back on, then created the alignment and put that back over. Part alignment does this for you. You put the NC code on the machine, you connect the machine to Fusion, and then you run the program through. The machine sends the information back to Fusion, Fusion calculates that alignment, and then updates the WCS on the controller with the correct offset. So let's jump over into Fusion 360 and see how we set this up. We have made this forging die previously on our machine, but there has been a design revision now. The web thickness needs to be increased. As this will result in metal off the die, we can actually put it back on our machine for rework. So let's head back over to the manufacturer workspace and set up our toolpaths and part alignment. Remember, live part alignment is currently a preview function, so be sure to enable the feature flag live machine part alignment. I'm going to duplicate my existing setup to carry over all my settings, create two facing operations that will remove the majority of material needed, then a steep and shallow toolpath with a boundary should ensure we're not doing any unnecessary cutting on our finishing toolpath. Let's also do a final inspection on the part, inspecting those features that we have just machined to ensure they meet the tolerances. We find live part alignment in the inspection tab and the probing section. Note that live part alignment is limited to three axis methods. You can still probe in 3 plus 2, but the alignment calculation can only be done in 3 axis. We now follow the same process as the standard part alignment, ensuring you have a good spread of points all over the part, trying to restrict those 6 degrees of freedom. We can now post-process the NC code, and this is where the main difference to the standard part alignment is. You are now posting out all of the toolpaths in your setup. After the alignment, we'll update the offset on the controller and then this is used for those remaining toolpaths. There's no need to stop the machine, import the results back over and repost out the new NC code. So now we have our NC code, let's start live connection. We see now there are two further options to help us automate the workflow, auto approve and auto reject. Selecting these will let Fusion look at your tolerances you have specified and make a decision on if the part alignment should be automatically accepted or rejected for you. For this example, let's keep it as manually approving and rejecting so we can see the full alignment process. We can now begin the cycle on our machine and start importing the results. You can see the banner at the top of the dialog. This will help indicate the machine's status. We can see the current toolpath being displayed and now the unaligned results are being imported. Once all the inspection points have been taken, the machine cycle is paused and we're given the chance to review the alignment results. Here we can see the graph showing the points before and after the alignment, in addition to the transformation values needed. We also have the option of digging into the results further with the results dialog that allows us to toggle the results with and without the alignment applied. As we are happy with the calculated alignment, we'll approve and the machine can continue with the cycle and remachine those modifications. We can see the values in the WCS table be updated as soon as we selected approve. Now highlighting the remaining toolpaths as they're executed on the machine. and to finish our cycle is our final inspection. If this was a series of parts, the next component could simply be loaded on the machine and run. The Fusion connection can remain live and a new results folder for the inspection data will be made each time the machine cycle is run. All the results are stored in the browser for later analysis if required. 
We've now seen that full workflow for the live part alignment. How do we create that live part alignment in Fusion? Transferring it to our machine tool, then watch those inspection points come back in real time. We see that we have the option to auto-approve for more automated workflows. And then of course, we can do final inspection on our part to verify that everything was made with intolerance. So as always, everyone, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.